and the subsequent um, April 22nd execution of the 13 government officials, did you hear anything from any of the PRC members as to why they executed these 13 people? How did their names get on the list? But I think they told you, I think Bernard Famula told you here that they prepared that list. I think he told you. And the records carry that. I have a recording myself yes, he, as part he of did, my book. He did they prepared of the a list of TWP partisans. When they executed those people, I was in the office with, Brigadier, with at the time, Brigadier General J. Nicholas Podia, who was the Vice Head of State. I was in his office when they came to inform him that the execution had been had taken place. And he was very angry. He even mentioned the name of some of the progressives, like Famula and, 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 uh, and, and Bacchus Matthew, them, and felt that they were responsible for that. He did mention their name, and people were telling him, oh, no, don't do that. You, I mean, he was threatening to eliminate them or something because he felt that they were under it. But these progressives in this country here, you both know they have been the root cause of all the problem in this country. They are the... They, were the, they, they started the revolution, they start, I mean, they always throw the rock and move the hand. And the government come, they undermine it. And then transitional government come, they jump inside and become ministers. And then new government come, they try to take a position. I see Dr. Sawyer now, he now employ a governance commission. What are you looking for a job for they kind of town here? What are you doing with job? The young people here are educated, they are qualified. Give them a chance. Go to your farm. Go sit down. Go develop your property or what you have earned over the years. But you got to be a part of government. Some of them, when they see people, they threaten people. Oh, I will tell the president that they are you not friend. All oh, those kind of talk there. People, when would they outgrow this kind of elementary thing that we did in the 70s? Pointing finger and wanting to be part of every government and every system that come in. These are the troublemakers. They put us in the revolution. We have come in the revolution. Many, plenty of trouble not happy. PAL, Progressive Alliance of Liberia, all these groups here are all groups that led. They, some of them still in America. They, they are here. They are there. Any time there's an issue, they will come to Liberia, join any government. The same thing happened when Judith Bryan government came in in Accra. A whole group of robots from America came here, jumped up in government, minister of this, some of them, pastor, Reverend, minister of this, minister of that. They didn't fight no war. The people who fought the war, they never look at them. The king in government squander all the money. They go on back again. They not go in the lay shell. When somebody come out that they know again, they will focus again, surface, and be part of that same kind of system to rob the people of what they have. Let us be committed to national development effort. Let us outgrow these petty ideas of trying to seek gravy with every government that came. 